my name is Jennifer and I'm here today to talk to you about sedums and their many uses. One perfect use is in a dish garden. Here we have this great collection of shallow dishes with drain holes that are perfect for sedums. So I have with me a few examples of some dish gardens that have been we've planted up and here you can see there's a variety of sedums that all like the same conditions. They like the sun, they're pretty drought tolerant so they don't need water uh, that often and they're very forgiving. If you're like me and you go out of town for the weekend and you don't uh, remember to water before you go, they're still going to be there when you get back. So this is a great example of how you can mix some of the tender sedums like this big rosette in the middle with some of the hardier sedums like this one that's going to trail down the side, sedum angelina. And then there's even some little baby hens and chicks tucked in for added fun. So I'm going to show you how to plant your own dish garden. Here I have a bag of cactus mix and this is really the best type of potting soil that you want to use for the sedums. It's a well draining mix with a lot of sand and pumice which is perfect for the drought tolerant plants. So here I'm just going to fill my dish most of the way. Sedums aren't real needy. They don't require a lot of fertilizer. In fact, if you do too much fertilizer, you encourage them to flower. And sometimes that's the sign that their you know, lifespan is over, they've reproduced, and so they're gonna die out. So you really don't, you wanna encourage more of the foliage. So I have this large sedum that's in a kind of a clumping, creeping form. So what I like to do, this is one of the great plants and ways you can use them is you can actually break a clump like this apart. So I'm just going to tear it right apart. You can see there's roots on either side of the what I tore, so it's going to be able to root in and take off right away. And really, they don't need all of that depth of soil, so to kind of coordinate with my shallow dish here, I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of that soil. So here I go, and now I have a much more natural looking, smaller piece to work with and I can just tuck it right on the edge here, just like that, and that way it's going to cascade down over the side. Now, for my next sedum choice, this is a tender sedum, but I just love that bright color. I think it really shows off the pot color really nicely. So here I'm just going to work it out of its container. Again, this is way more soil than I need, so I'm just going to pare down some of my soil to fit my container. Don't be afraid to take off some of the roots. The sedums, it really encourages growth. They don't mind at all. And then I like to even it out a little bit. Now we're a little light on this other side, so I'm just gonna take off another piece of my already broken apart plant. Let's just do a little something in this corner. And now I don't like, I think sedums are really shine when they're, uh, you know, have a little more simple design. I don't think you need to fill your whole pot and it gives you an opportunity to use some of the great top dressings that can accent your plants. So I'm gonna just fill in the rest of what we have here and then show you some of my favorite top dressings. So here I have a bag of small decorative pebbles I like to refer to these as tiny shinies because they're small, they're pretty neutral. I kind of use them, I tend to use them as a base layer. And I do a nice thick layer of them so you don't have any of the soil coming through. It just really finishes off your planting and gives it a nice clean look. And then, if you're feeling festive, I have what we like to refer to around here as party rocks. It's really actually polished pieces of colored glass, but it accents all these bright colors of these dish gardens perfectly and just gives you that little bit of party atmosphere in your planting. So here I'm just going to do mix that in with my, and it goes really well with these tiny shinies. You just do a little layer of that in there and get a little bit of pizzazz with your planting. And there you have it. You water it in and it's as simple as that.